Today, I'm sharing the real behind the scenes of my YouTube journey, the mistakes I've made, and the successes I've achieved in just one year. Okay, and if you want to see the best clips of cows and sows, you should stay to the end of the video because that's when I am going to show the best clips of the one year of cows and sows. It is going to be a whole jammed up packed montage of the best clips of cows and sows. Okay, so first here I'm going to show my first mistake of being on YouTube and the success and how I got the success to do the right thing to do that to do what you actually need to do instead of making the mistake just like I did. And then episode two, 120 views. That's because this actually had some value to it. But one thing you want to see about it is the title is super long. So let's edit the title real quick. So... The title really, the title only goes up to a hundred characters, which spaces count as characters do. So this character, how many, there are 78 characters in this title, and you are only going to see anywhere from 64 characters when you are on the YouTube platform that you're only going to see maybe up to better. So you don't know what comes in the title afterwards. The only thing that really delivers on it is here the thumbnail because it has a picture of the calf. We're tying it up to take it across the road. And that's really a mistake right there. If we would have made a better title that was shorter and more understandable and had more value, we would have probably got probably 3x the views. So we could have probably got like 350 to 400 views on this video instead of just 120 views if we would have delivered more value into the title and made it shorter and more understandable because just so if you want to see the whole title it'll only cut it short on you'll probably only see it until about maybe on well let's actually go into YouTube to see what it looks like so let's go all the way down to our oldest video so let's go ahead and right here actually you only see it until after the o in the road so we're going to try and click on that you can't get on to the video unless you can't get the rest of the title unless you actually click on the video so that's one of my mistakes, and I had plenty more. But let's go ahead and get some successes in here because I'm sure that's what you guys came here to see. Because we have more than 200 subscribers. Okay, so we're back in here to YouTube Studio with our analytics. We're going ahead and go over to the content section. So you see our latest episode was episode 8. One of my biggest episodes was about half of that. It was episode 39. So we're going to scroll all the way down to episode 39. Episode 39. So let's just show something to do. Let's start off at episode 33. So. 36 views, episode 34, 41 views. Episode 35, it takes up about maybe 30 views, but only 73 views. 
Um, episode 36, 55 views. Episode 37, it takes it up to 294 views. But then episode 38 goes back to down to 41. Episode 39, this is where we take our big charge. This video has 6,000 views. I see a lot of you have to make bigger and longer content that delivers more value. The title... Two simple words, sale day, with an exclamation point. Now, you obviously understand it. You see that these, in the thumbnail, that these are all cows right here. And this one right here, that's kind of scrunched up in there. I don't know what it says. It might say 092 or something. And... That's what it, it delivers it, that you're going to go ahead and see that. You're going to have a catching process to make the video longer, but it also delivers more value to see how you got these cows to this point to where you can sell them and make your money. That's where it really comes in right there. That's why this video has... Almost 7,000 views. It's my most viewed long form video. And it's 15 minutes. So that YouTube advice of making longer videos really comes in the true advice right here because I have 6,000 views. Well, it's been up for 170 days. This video is a 1 of 10 video. So. If you, for all those who don't know what a 1 in 10 video is, so it gets you 10 previous videos, which in this case is episode 30 to episode 39. Out of those 10 videos, Sale Day is the best video performing based off those views. And let's take a look. Our average view duration in a whole life, it's about um almost two minutes and this video it's a three so you see all these views and views and persons click through it average view duration all of them have an up mark so that means it's more than usual so let's click into the analytics right here 6.5 thousand more views than usual and so our typical views is about 50 to 100 it has 6,647. Let's look at the subscribers. This video got us 28 subscribers gained from this video. That's even more subscribers than a video, a short that had about 3,000 more views than this. And it's had six more subscribers. This video was a lot more valuable. The watch time. 346 and a half hours that people have watched this video. That's 342 more than usual. I get around two and a half. A two to three hours of watch time per video. And it's performing so well at this point. I don't think I even need to talk about it. Okay. So this video, it is, it has time codes. So it's basically giving you segments of what you're going to see in the video. That's really successful. One of the most successful videos. Well, probably most, the successful video of my channel that was a long form video now let's move on okay you guys may not notice i'm not in my youtube studio analytics anymore that's because i am in vidiq now vidiq is not sponsoring this video it's just i love this tool so much i use it to help me with every video okay so you can see we have this generate video ideas tool and I promise I'll keep these more segments more shorter. <clears throat> so, basically, I generated it with the 
I generated, use this generate tool today to generate what we're doing for this video. So one year anniversary on YouTube. I've already done this. I've already had it planned out. And, and now we're going to get it figured out here. So let's go in. It even gives you thumbnail backgrounds, but I don't use the thumbnail backgrounds. I use my just own thumbnail skills. So you see the ones that are 38 and one year celebrating in one year? Delete all those tags because it's not good. I'm sharing the biggest lessons I've learned in my first year of YouTube. You won't believe number five. So, and then it gives you basically a whole option to get a script for yourself. Now, I don't usually use the script, but if you are the type of person who doesn't have a time to just write out a script writing tool, I think, well, just write out your script. I think this is a perfect tool, vidIQ. So now let's move on to our next thing. It's the optimize tool. So I can't optimize any of my videos right now, but I can optimize these two videos. So I said yes to at Dr. Fishy for 24 hours, episode 77. The title is a 92 out of 100 score. The thumbnail is a 77. The thumbnail is a space background with Camden, Dr. Fishy, giving me a weird face. And then it says, hour two, eat a pickle. And then I'm shocked because I don't like pickles. The thumbnail is a 77, of course. It could be worked on. And you can also optimize your shorts and you can optimize every video if you have the vidIQ boost, which I think is so you can do the yearly access for $17 a month, which is 190, 200 bucks a year, or you can do it monthly where you pay it monthly, which is 19 bucks a month, and you get a seven day free, free trial coming with it. But I don't use Boost because I still think the free version is perfect. All right, my last and final, well, maybe not final, but one of the final tools is the personalized ideas. You get the, you get three personalized ideas, which if you have the Boost, you get 50 ideas. You see the view prediction, it has very high high and medium but if you have the boost it will give you 50 ideas a day and they're all view prediction very high like okay let's say i can just i can love this one since it's very high um i can dismiss this one and i can dismiss this one because it doesn't have a very high idea and then you can come down to customize ideas and you can customize your own keywords and put them in and it'll give you ideas based on that topic okay the final tool that i would like you to use it prop it's the keywords i don't use it as much but okay let's say which i just made this video it's a ranching quiz. So let me search up ranching quiz. Let me do that. Enter. It ha it loads. It takes a while to load, but it has a 70 out of 100 overall score. The competition, if it says very low, that's what you want it to be for competition. And search volume, it has 2,844 searches per month now i say that's decent but also i'm going to have this strategy well let me show you so it has brain the overall score is um 51 which is medium but the search volume per month is 163,288 
So I either want my search volume, so I try to get two viral formats for each and every video. So uh, I want them to either be in the green for the overall score, which is 60 and above, or I want the search volume to be over 100,000 searches per month. Which the competition isn't that good because it says very high, so it's going to be hard to compete with many people right here. Okay, so those are my best YouTube successes, and those are some tips for the people who really want to start a YouTube channel out there. So let's move on to my compilation of... Mm, my 10 best clips on cows and sows. Okay, so coming in at number 10 is the donkey gets out watch till the end of episode 34. You guys, the donkey's out! The donkey's out! Okay, the donkey's out right now! The donkey is out! This is gonna be some good footage right here! I'm so Folks. excited because I've never gotten footage of the donkey getting out before. This is very oh dark, but good thing we goodness. have it. Right now, the donkey is going behind the shop. Okay, this next part is exciting. Oh, Lucy right, is okay, coming up, right. and <laughs> the donkey. Lucy, watch out. <laughs> we have to tell Lucy to watch yeah. out because she might get kicked by the donkey. That's almost happening. And now she's chasing me back in. Okay, that's my ten number ten clip. Let's move on to my number nine clip. It is this. This video is the donkey getting out. Has fifty three likes, and it has gotten out for the fifth time, and it has six. Two point six thousand views. Mm -hmm. The donkey's out here. Come on now, donkey. It's out behind the hay bales. <laughs> now we think it's going down the shooting range, but it isn't. Mm -hmm. does an auctioneer speak regular versus slow mo speed now slow mo that's just how fast an auctioneer actually speaks and this blooper, the comment says just gibberish. Oh my. This is the number seven clip. It's kind of embarrassing for me. Happy birthday to you, to you, you. Happy birthday to you, to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. What do the comments say? It says, Happy B Day, Caleb. Um, Happy B Day, Caleb. Happy B Day. Hey, Caleb, it is me, Dallas. Um, Dallas is my friend. And then, of course, Dr. Fishy. He says, Party, party, party emoji. Let's get him to 500 subscribers before October. Also, such a celebration with the three balloons. 
Mm, yeah, I like this one. Yeah, well, it's still embarrassing. Our sixth best clip is this one. We are at the Georgia National Rodeo and we are getting footage um, by the Bulls. Even some footage. Because they were getting ready to. But. Also, I have no idea how this video just has 55 likes. I say nothing, it's just the Georgia National Rodeo music in the background. The number six clip though. All right, the number five video is this goat roping video. That we shoot with a goat. See if this guy's at the goat. National rodeo. Uh, it's basically pre rodeo, and he ropes really bad, but he misses him on the back foot. Yeah, that's number five. Let's move on to the number four. Okay. Our number four video is this one. Clay destroyed by Caleb on his birthday. It is basically just a four second video of me shooting um, a Clay with my new shotgun that I got. Okay. My number three video is We Tax 2006's calf that went missing if you want to go see the video check it out it's on the channel it's a great video mm. just showing that we tagged it it was born on may 5th and i think we tagged this video we made the video so it was about a week since we had mm. you guys are probably going to have the most problem with this, but this video has to come in second. I'm sorry. Mom drinks CLM. It is our most viewed video on Cows and Cells, but it has to come in second. It's so hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Cows and Cells on YouTube. <laughs> But I don't know, it just had to miss out on number one because there's a better video. And coming in at number one, drum roll please. It is shooting gallon jugs on Caleb's birthday with Caleb's new shotgun. Shooting the old Mossberg. Okay, let's read First time shooting the... First time shooting the old Mossberg. <laughs> How would you rate the kick on a scale of 1 to 10? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Hit it right in here. With the 20 gauge. With the 20 gauge. We got that um, Coke bottle over there destroyed. And now we're going to destroy this orange juice bottle right here. <laughs> Alright, so here we are. We're going to check on these. Orange juice and coke bottles down here. Coke bottles are destroyed. Rappers everywhere. Rappers like this. Rappers like this. Orange juice is the pretty good. It's happening. It's happening. As you can hear. And that's it for today. Signing off. Caleb Holt with the Calvin Salzman tribe. First time shooting the old mom. Okay, that was number one if you agree that that was number one put it down in the comments below thank you for watching that is it for the anniversary special and if you guys are interested in being a youtuber i have the best deal for you coming up just wait okay if you want to be a youtuber badly and you want to know how to get the most views you should go over here and get this and watch this vidIQ video 
on how to get 18 million views using this YouTube strategy. Make sure you go over there.